What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love the shy, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today, we're going to be talking about the shy season four, episode one. This is the quick thoughts video for episode one. Um, and you guys, if you don't know, the shy season four, episode one is free right now on YouTube. So if you did not get to watch it, check out the YouTube channel, which is the shy on YouTube, Showtime, The Shy, then you can watch the first episode. Now, they did this last year as well. They allow people to watch the episode early, so you guys can catch up for free. The unedited, uncut version is on the Showtime app, so if you want to see that version, make sure you check out the Showtime app, but let's just talk about it, man. Like I told you guys, this is just a quick thought, um, and I will drop the full recap for you guys later on in the day give you time to catch up if you have not seen it but let me know exactly what you felt about this episode and i will be letting you know right now it's just crazy man watching that intro of this episode um now lena waif did say that they did a, a lot of new focusing on camera angles um different filters with cameras um just the way they filmed the show you can tell easily within the first two minutes of the show you can easily tell um that is something different you can tell the detail of the angles how they're zooming in um on certain characters um the coloring the filters it was crazy but the intro was crazy because it reminded me of like a murder mystery type show or type movie you know we've seen all types of murder mystery um shows and stuff like that in movies and this reminded me of that when i'm watching it i'm like okay who shot duda who shot Otis Perry? The way they did it, man, it was just crazy. One of the things that I will talk about in this quick thoughts, real quick, the fan theories of Gemma and Jake was true. You know what I'm saying? This is something that we've been talking about since last season. Um, a lot of fans caught on early, you know, just the vibes of Gemma and Jake. And come to find out, we seen in this first episode at this ballroom party, Whenever that's going to happen, um, that's when we see the two making out. And it looks like Kevin does see them at the very beginning of the episode. They give us like, I want to say, what, three, probably less than that, probably about two, two and a half minute intro. And then we see, of course, Kevin running around. He's trying to find, looks like he's trying to find Gemma. And then he looks up and it seems like, okay, Jake and Gemma, of course, are making out and they see Kevin. And of course he is crying. Um, and there's a lot of different things going on in that intro. Now I will have to go back and rewatch it and just check out the small details of the whole episode. But like I said, that intro was crazy. I'm like, okay, they switching it up for this one. They switching it up. Um, now as far as that, of course, after that intro of you know Kevin, you know, Gemma and Jake, and then of course they show Keisha having the baby. We also see Emmett as well in that intro. He's very stressed out. Something crazy is going on. Um we get to the actual episode and we see a month earlier. So the ballroom dance that we're gonna see, that's the episode that I cannot wait for. I don't know what episode that is, but that's the episode when it's about to go down at um and then we get to the actual you know a one month earlier part which we see of course the biggest thing of the season thus far which is jake um getting hurt by the police now this is something that we've been talking about we knew this was going to happen so it was highly expected and if you haven't checked out my what to expect video um check that out man because i pretty much i will say i got about 85 percent 85 90 percent of it right just based off um the trailers and stuff i just put everything together and i had a feeling that jake will get into it with the Bakari kid in the very first episode um, just based on the backgrounds. I, I seen the bridge and I understood that, okay, that's the same area that Jake is going to get arrested by the police. They're going to, of course, overuse their force. But in that scene, Jake does get into that argument. Um, Kevin, of course, is with him. And then the police, they come in and they overdo their jobs. Um, and I have a question for you guys did jake do the right thing now kevin said you know what 
None of this would have happened if you would have just listened and just did what the police asked you to do. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, my personal opinion, I do agree with Kevin, what he's saying as far as maybe if Jake would have just took out his ID and did what they said, so be it. Let them have it. You know what I'm saying? It's no use to arguing with them. They're going to get what they want. You know what I'm saying? They're going to rather, you rather give them your ID, show them the ID real quick, or you got to face what Jake just faced, right? But then at the same time, what they did was wrong. That was entirely too much force. You know what I'm saying? What, as far as what they did. So in a sense, I'm saying that, yes, Jake should have just probably just did what he had to do for the moment. I know he's upset. He was pissed off um, about what just happened um, as far as getting into it with the Bakari kid. But besides that, just go ahead and do what you got to do, man. These guys, they're going to they gonna get what they want somehow, some way. And if they don't, they're going to overuse that force. So I can't I can understand what he's talking about as far as this listening. And even when you listen, these cats will still pop you. They'll still take you out. We know this. But I would say you decrease your chances by just doing what you got to do for the time being. You know what I'm saying? This is this is chess, not checkers. If he's going to overuse the force and his power, you know, we're getting that a lot. We'll break him down and get him later on. But as of right now, we're trying to survive and do what we got to do. Um, of course, Kevin, he did what he had to do. And Kevin made a good point. And Jake made a good point in the episode saying that, hey, maybe if I would have had my school uniform on, things would have played out differently. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if I would have just had that uniform on, I would have been good. I would have been able to walk away from this, which could have happened. I mean, he could it could have happened. But then again, you have to think when Kevin was told to back up, with his uniform on, the cop pulled a gun out on him, regardless of uniform or not, he was willing to take out Kevin if he had to. You see what I'm saying? They didn't care about no uniform. All that officer was caring about was you doing what I tell you to do right now. You see what I'm saying? Um, so that's how I see that playing out. At the end of the day, I can understand Jake's frustration saying that, hey, they picked me out. They talking to me. But hey. You know, that's what happens. It, you know, this happens in everyday life. We see it all the time. Um, but we also have to decrease our chances of getting in those situations like that um, with these officers because these guys don't know what the hell they're doing, um, especially ones like that. Now, as far as the whole police stuff, which we knew was going to happen, and we're going to talk more about that in the full recap um, for you guys that want to talk about that. But your boy Emmett. And we've been talking about Emmett for a while. I broke down his character this week. Your boy Emmett, man, he was going through it in this episode. The stress and pressure that's on this man's back. I mean, he is about to crack at any given moment. I'm like, okay, Emmett. Um, and then you guys saw when I broke down the what to expect video for you guys. It says that Tiff and Dom are going to go into business together, which they're going to be doing edibles, right? And we know that Tiff, she has a connect. And you guys know that connect from last season. You know, we're going to talk more about him as well. But that's some issues right there. The whole Tiff and Dom thing. Emmett, he doesn't know what to do. He's tripping out. Now, Dom did one thing right, I would say. Or what do you guys think about that? Was it right to tell um, Emmett's father the truth or just continue to wait? Now, I'm going to say she did the right thing because it's like, might as well get it out right now. She understood that Darnell liked her a lot. And she understands where this relationship is going. So what she decided to do was, you say, let me go ahead and tell him. Let's get it on out there right now before we go any further. Um, and Darnell understood. He's an OG. He said, all right, well, that's in the past. The past is it's the past. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Because the last thing that Dom was about to do was have that on her back while she was building up her relationship with Emmett's father. So she got hers out the way. Her truth, her little secret was done for. Now Emmett, he's the one with the secret now because he knows what he did and Tiff and Dom are hanging out. He can't take the pressure. He cannot take the pressure. To me, it was so funny when Darnell brought in that VCR. He brought in Soul Food and they was playing the part um, of course, the cheating part about the husband and this dude was sweating bullets. Now, they was talking about, man, it's just the edibles. He cool, but dude was really tweaking. 
Emmett, man, I pray for you. I hope you do all right. But in this episode, you was going through it, man. Like I told you guys, I think he might as well just get it on out. Because if he does it, it's going to mentally destroy him. We're going to talk more about Emmett as well because they did drop, uh, I want to say like a 15-second clip um, with Emmett and Tiffany. And she's like, look, what's going on? What's wrong with you? And I actually did the video for that scene. I was going to drop it for you guys, but they released the episode. So I will, you know, redo the video. And we're going to talk more about the whole Emmett and Tiffany thing. But the dude was going through it in this episode. Um, hopefully he can get through it. But I think it's going to be a tough journey for him. And then as far as Duda, you know, we're just going to end it off on your boy Duda. And that's it. But Duda, he took it personal, y'all. As I, I said, he was the guardian of Jake in the past. And yes, he was using Jake as, you know, good image, you know, taking care of a kid. But Duda, he, you know, I want to say he had a bond with Jake, regardless if Jake didn't listen to him or not. This dude, he has a bond with that kid no matter what. And he's taking this personal. At least that's what he is showing right now. This is personal on what happened to Jake. So when he came to the hospital, of course, Treg is there. He's saying, I want blood. You know, you can see it in Duda's in his face. He's like, man, like I want it too, but... We have to be cool about this. I'm going to handle this. Treg is like, look, I'm about to get to it right now. But Duda understands. Look, we can do it in a different way. Um, and it shows that he has a lot of power. He says, look, take these handcuffs off. If you don't want to lose your job, you better listen to me. So we're going to see what Duda is going to do as far as his approach on stopping things like this and the community. The thing about Duda is he has a lot of pressure on himself because he is the mayor. Now, of course, they say gangster or mayor. I made the video about Duda. Yes, I think he's going to be a, the gangster at the end of the day. But the pressure as the mayor is on him. It's on him um, probably even more than he was imagining. Trust me, what happened to Jake is going to get to him. And then you got Tracy. She's there and you already know what she wants. She want to get her cheeks clapped. We know what time it is. We know what type of people that Tracy likes. Remember, she messed with the OG Q in the first season of The Shy. So Duda popping up, you know, that's right up her alley. That is right up her alley. So it makes sense for her to be digging Duda. But she even told him, what are you going to do about this? You know what I'm saying? My son, Jason, which Duda said he's sorry what happens about what happened to Jason. We know what happened to him, right? Remember, he was killed by... A dirty cop remember so it's kind of crazy how they they brought tracy into the show i know a lot of people was wondering how are they going to use tracy since ronnie is gone but now it makes sense dude is going to be helping out tracy tracy wants her cheeks clapped but tracy still her story still is relevant as far as what happened to her son which is relevant to the story that we are seeing in season four um otis perry has a lot on his plate and Rose, her car is right there. You see what she's all about. She doesn't care who's clapping, who is, who's Duda is clapping. She don't care about that. She's about business. And if Duda is smart, he needs to continue to watch her. Also, we saw in the episode exactly what Keisha wants to do. She's kind of 50 50. We can tell by her body language. She doesn't really know if she wants to give her kid up, but she did meet with the family. Um, we saw that in the episode. And of course, Tabitha Brown and her character in the show was kind of shaky. You know what I'm saying? She's about to go through a divorce and Keisha does not like that. So I'll tell you right now, expect her to pop back up. That's not the last time you're going to see her. Expect her and Keisha to have a relationship. And it's still a chance that her kid could go with this lady and, you know, she can raise the kid. But we're going to see how that's all going to play out. And also, I did want to talk about Jada. As I told you guys, she's going to be getting her cheeks clapped by Suede in this season. And I want to know exactly how Emmett is going to feel about that when he knows that one of his homeboys from high school is clapping his mom's cheeks and he is doing it consistently. I seen one in the comments when you guys said, well, mama need a life too. Well, hey, you're right. She grown. She can do what she want to do. But it is funny to see how this is all going to play out. 
Now, I'm not going to try to make these quick thoughts real long. I just had a lot on my mind. The episode was excellent to me. It was a solid episode, man. I really appreciated the episode. I can't wait for episode two. But before we get to episode two, I will be dropping the full recap for you guys because there's some things we have to talk about. We have to just, you know, go over some things. But thank you guys for all the support, all the love. Make sure you follow the playlist. You know, I broke down probably the majority of the main characters. I got a couple more that I wanted to do. But follow the playlist. Keep yourself updated on all the latest. The Shy Season 4 news. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But like I said, leave your quick thoughts, early predictions. Leave it all down below. Stay tuned. And I will catch y'all later on in the day for the full recap. But it's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.